What's up guys, I'm Jody Mandroth and this is Big Man Fitness. All right, before we get this video started, don't forget to reach on down here, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you get notified every time we put out great new content, generally every Sunday. Give this video a big thumbs up. It definitely helps out with the channel. And well, let's get started. All right, guys. First, I guess, official video of the year. I know I just did one on Friday for New Year's. Uh, it is now Sunday, so this is the first like real video of the year. And they're gonna come out every Sunday as, as always. Nothing's changing from that aspect. For now, I have no plans to change it. I want to talk to you guys about supplements. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I do use them. Again, supplements are kind of a, a cheat system, I guess is the best way to put it. <clears throat> and not of them, not all of them are created equally. One of the biggest problems I have with supplements and one of the reasons I want to tackle this again, even though I did this video I want to say it was my second video, third video, something like that. I'd have to go back. You can go back and check it out. It's one of the first videos I did on this channel. Supplements can be a big tool. Again, food, supplements, they're all tools to gain what we want towards our goals. Biggest supplement I use would be my protein powders. Now, I'm definitely using protein right now as kind of like a, a supplement to my meals to make sure I'm getting enough protein for my lifts, while not taking in a ton of calories. I use an isolate protein powder. Uh, it's made by Optimum Nutrition. I use, if for me, I don't know why, it's just I've, I've done some research and I really like everything that I find in Optimum Nutrition. I pick up the stuff at Costco. Uh, actually, I order it from Costco. I don't really go out much anymore ever since most of this has started. But I, I order it through Costco. Uh, the reason I use isolate, it's not, you know, I know this is what the bodybuilders use and they get all big. My issue is because I am lactose intolerant and have been since I've been about 20, 20 years old. And it seems only to get worse as I'm getting older. So using a regular whey protein, well, it's honestly, it messes with my stomach every day. I take it twice a day. Well, Take a two scoop shake for, with breakfast and two scoop, a two scoop shake with dinner after my lifts. <sighs> Taking that much in, you know, just a regular whey protein was really upsetting my stomach. So I, was, I went to the isolate. I don't have those issues. It's just filtered more to get that dairy out of there. It is also more expensive. Uh, works for me doesn't mean you need to go out and buy the most expensive thing because that's what's gonna work. No. Buy what you feel will work for you. Do your research, find what you like. I'm not here to tout Optimum Nutrition. They're just the brand that I trust. Doesn't mean you have to trust them. Do your research, check them out, read the labels. You know, I'm always looking for those things that, hey, I can understand that word. Again, the name of the game, being healthy, being fit, not putting a bunch of strange chemicals in your body does not equal being healthy, okay? Some of the other supplements that I'm also on, I do take a pre-workout twice a day, uh, once before I go for my run. Again, when I wake up, I go upstairs, drink my pre-workout, uh, and I get that from all different places. I stopped using C4, getting really bad headaches with that, so I definitely stopped that. I think it's their caffeine content in theirs. Whew. So I take the, the uh, pre-workout right now. I'm using uh, a brand that I found at Walmart. Fairly cheap, does the trick. Not a lot of weird stuff in it. Uh, I had a little bit of creatine with it, uh, which is a, a teaspoon amount, five grams. Five grams of l carotene, which is to help with the, uh, what we call DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. So I don't start getting sore for about a day, day and a half after my lifts. Again, 
it's not even really soreness anymore. It's just kind of like a heaviness. It just feels like my muscles are, are a little taxed, but they're not not sore or I can barely move. It's just kind of something happened, but I'm okay. And I just mix those in with my pre-workout. Those are my supplements I take besides a daily vitamin and fish oil. That's it. Again, I want to get down to my lowest weight possible. We'll see where that is. Hopefully I get down there this year. I'm not expecting to hit that till probably October, November. If I hit it at all, I do want to see, is it somewhere around 240, 230, maybe even lower, 220-ish. I'm a big guy, six foot three. I, with the lifting, I'm already putting on muscle. So there's, there is gonna be an end point where I'm not gonna be able to go much further just because the muscle's there. My height, you know. <coughs> there's gonna be a, a stopping point. Obviously, it's not gonna be super low. I don't ever think I'm gonna get under 200. I think once I start bulking and fully trying to fill out the skin, I'm gonna end up somewhere around 250 to 275. Depending on how much muscle I'm able to put on at my age, it's gonna be a lot harder, but I'm definitely pushing for it. And we'll see where see where we go with all of that. So when it comes to those supplements, I'm only I'm only planning to use them until I hit that lowest amount. Besides the multivitamin and the fish oil, those will always be there. I plan on knocking everything else out. Uh, the pre-workout I'm, I'm probably still going to use, but I won't be mixing in the other, like creatine, I'll carotene as much. Uh, probably start cutting those back even sooner. Uh, probably not even too far from now, only because I'm not feeling that soreness. I'm not feeling bogged down by the lift. So I will be pushing to really cutting those down and then out of my diet completely. And then once I hit that lowest stage and I start the bulking, all natural foods, the broccolis, the chicken breasts, the steaks, the cottage cheese, getting back on that. Obviously I'm gonna have to eat five, six times a day. My calories are gonna drop or go, jump. Where right now I'm at 1500 calories a day and I'm probably gonna end up somewhere around 4,000 calories a day to start bulking and getting that the right foods in, the right amount of protein without any type of protein shakes or anything. And really just pushing my body to just be better and be able to absorb everything it needs to the, to complete the rebuild that of the muscles I'm gonna be tearing down as I do this. Uh, right now, <clears throat> uh, like I said in my last video, I am pushing for that kind of 3.2, 3.3 miles every morning. Uh, in the next month or two, I do hope to push that up. Back up to the 4.5 miles that I was doing just before I got hurt. Had a lot of fun with that. It does take a little bit longer, but it's one of those, man, you get out there. Mental, it's a mental game. Mental clarity for me. Because I work through any issues I have, any, any doubts, any just daily things where in case I'm kind of irritated like, well let me go for a run and get it off my mind and work through it so <clears throat> that longer time out there the more I can work through the better my day tends to be also that early morning exercise jump starts my metabolism I have like a, a zero flatline metabolism so if I don't do, if I don't get that running in the morning that weight's just gonna start adding up again so it does help me Gives me the energy to make it through the day and it helps jumpstart my metabolism. In the morning is when I take, again, there's my supplements. I got the pre-workout, the multivitamin, fish oil, and the protein shake with breakfast. So breakfast is my heaviest meal, lunch is second heaviest, and of course I hardly, I mean I do eat, but it, it's so small compared to breakfast. And that's after my lift, so I'm trying to only eat those three times a day. Obviously, I'll be going to the six times a day once I get to that area, I'm sure. Focusing on my macros, my food intake now. I'm not worried about what I got to do when I get there. I'll have to start figuring that out once I get down to that weight. But, again, guys, got to get those goals done. These supplements... If you are taking supplements, just, just be very careful. Pay attention to what you're putting in your body. A lot of people have uh, adverse effects 
with different things. So always just be careful, consult your doctor if you're not sure. Make a list of everything you do. Anytime you go to the doctor, just give them that and say, hey, this is why I've changed or this is what I'm doing. That's what I like to do. Uh, this year's been, or this past year, this year. This past year, see, I'm not even ready, you're used to it yet. <coughs> I, I think I scheduled like three different physicals to get in there and talk to my doctor. Besides the knee injury, and that was like the only time I could talk to my doctor, they've been so filled up with the flu, uh, the, the COVID pandemic that's been going on. I have had to reschedule to the point where they just sent me a letter like, hey, we know you're trying to get in here. Let's shoot for the spring because we are already booked first couple months of, of 2021. Got that mid-December, so I'll be, I'll be pushing for that uh, here soon. Maybe hopefully get in there in April. I'm hoping to drop even more weight by then and see where where he thinks I'm at, where I, what I need to do if I'm on the right track. So those are the things I'm working on. I hope you guys are working on stuff very similar, but it is the beginning of the year. Let's get those goals done. Let's focus on all of our fitness goals, our fitness lifestyle and our health. And well, yep, that's all I got for you on this one. I probably will come back to supplements, especially when I start getting off of those. And I've hit that lowest amount so I can start balking, talking about how I dropped them, what were, did I feel anything because I've been on them for over a year. And just kind of, just, you know, just try to open that discussion. So, as always guys, you can find me at uh, Jedi Raymond Amondroth on Facebook. I'll link it down, or not link it, but I'll put my name down here so you can find me. Drop me some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this video or any other videos. You can always reach me at bmfjed at gmail.com, especially if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment of something a little more personal of nature. Reach out to me. I will definitely answer any and all emails that you guys send to me. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JedFDK. You can also find my other channel. Uh, I will be posting restarting my daily post uh, here shortly and so if it's something you're looking for that isn't quite fitness you can always follow me on there and as always guys I will uh, see you next week stay fit stay healthy see you later peace